Welcome to Gridiron Glory, the online edition. I'm Mark Pierce, he's Justin Sampson, and we're here to break down the TVC Ohio. We're not surprised to see Alexander, Athens, and Nelsonville, York at the top of the conference. Each, each team has a 2-0 record. Meg's, uh, Vinton County, and Wellston on the bottom side of the conference each has a 1-1 one one record. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if any of those bottom tier teams can pick up a win this week. Now, Vinton County is going up against a very tough Jackson team who hasn't let up a point yet this season. Can they make it three straight games without letting up a point? Well, it'll be interesting to see. Now, Wellston, they're opening up at their new field that just got dolled up by ESPN Rise. Right, make sure you uh, tune into the show this Friday. Our own Kristen Walters is going to have a special feature on that story on their new field. That's right, but they have another tough out-of-conference opponent this week in Gallia Academy, so I think it's going to be a little tough for the Rockets to christen that new field with the win. I got to put my money on Megs, who's going up against a little weaker Minford team. They've already lost to Vinton County this season. Right, but the team I'm most surprised with this year thus far is the Alexander Spartans. They've had no trouble replacing the seniors they lost. That's right. you got to give it up to Sean Arno, who's done a great job with this turnover. This is a team that's already posted 103 points in their first two games after losing Player of the Year finalist Cody Lawson last year and quarterback Mike Chapman. But uh, Trey Bennett has stepped up very big under center, but and they're going up against a Unioto team that only posted seven points last week, so the key for them, I think, is for the defense to stop Jansen Grimm in the backfield because he did pick up 100 yards on the ground last week. Another team to pay attention to that's threatening to win the TVC Ohio this year is the Athens Bulldogs. They were pretty sluggish in week one against Galley Academy. They came out very strong in week two against Dawson Bryant. They won that game 48-14 to 14 behind Devon Sharp. He had 162 rushing yards and three touchdowns. If they're going to beat uh, Warren this Friday, he's going to have to play flawless. That's right. This Bulldogs team absolutely tore up that new turf last week, but they're going up against a Warren team that can tear it up as well. They're off to a 2-0 start, and they hung up 40 in their last contest. So I think the key, as you said, is for Devon Sharp to keep it going, but also for Mitch Ryder and the rest of that defensive crew to pick it up against Warren because Devon Sharp is going to need to have a big game because Josh Skinner has been a little inconsistent in the early going with his play. But if, he can, if Josh Skinner can get more consistency in that passing game to complement the rushing game, they're going to be a deadly team to play against this year. That's right. The Nelsonville York Buckeyes are also in action this Friday against Burn Union. For more on coverage on that game, check out the preview article by the TVC Ohio reporter Frank Bum at www.woub.org backslash gridiron. But that's going to be our take on the TVC Ohio for this midweek preview. For Mark Pierce, I am Justin Sampson. Be sure you check out the full show this Friday at 1130 right here on WOUB. We'll see you then.